Hello guys, this is Zeptrocity and today we have another episode of the Minecraft Redstone Guide. So last time we looked a little bit at power and how things like this will power the blocks around it, direct and direct power. So that is a very important and complicated concept of redstone, so make sure to follow that before we continue on. So today we're going to look at some basic circuitry. So we've got our input and we've got our output here and the circuit is the stuff in the middle. So we see we flip this lever, goes along our circuit to our door, and yeah. So that's what we're going to be looking in today, and let us, let's go right into things. So circuits are pretty cool, they can do numerous events and stuff. This is a basic AND gate, so I have to flip um, both of these levers and then we flip down. This door is closed, flip one of the levers, does nothing, flip this lever, it does nothing. If I flip both of them down though, it opens, but if one of them's on, or both of them are on, then it will not function. So that's a basic uh, redstone circuit thing, and we'll go into things like AND gates later on, but today we're just going to look at some basic circuitry. So with redstone dust, here are some basic things you need to know. Now we can place redstone dust on top of a block, right? Now redstone dust will connect up upwards diagonally like so. So if we place the redstone dust here, it will just connect up the slope and connect upwards like so. It can go downwards and then go back up, you know, all of that cool stuff. Alright, now if there's a solid block in the way, this redstone dust can't connect up because the block is stopping it from going through. Alright, now an interesting thing is that uh, transparent blocks such as uh, glass allow redstone dust to be traveled through. I don't know how, uh, but they do. So things like glass, uh, slabs, pistons, stairs, glowstone, all of that stuff will allow redstone dust to pass through the block, like so, and be carried upwards. This can be pretty useful, uh, because you can place redstone torches on top of glass if you didn't know. That's pretty cool. And this is very interesting, because we can actually power this piston by sending it through. So this does absolutely nothing. All it's doing is sending power upwards. But if we add another redstone dust here, it powers the piston because it kind of comes up here and activates it because this redstone dust is actually facing the piston. So it's actually powering it. But I don't know why it turns off when it's like that. Not 100% sure how that works really, but you can see right there that it's pretty cool. And I think maybe if we even do that, no, it doesn't. But yeah, that's pretty awesome. So we can place redstone dust only on solid blocks. So that means we're going to place it on blocks such as the quartz block, but not on glass. All right. We can also place it on slabs and stairs. You can see it right there. If they are upside down slabs and stairs, if they were uh, upwards stairs, then can't place anything on that and a slab on the ground would not do anything either. Alright, but this is very different with redstone torches. Redstone torches you can actually place on glass, and same thing as the block, you can you can place it on upside down stairs and slabs, but you can't place it on top of the, uh, you know, stairs like that, it goes on the ground. So yeah. Alright, now some circuitry stuff. Now this here is some very interesting things that people have come across by using this little feature here. Now since we can place redstone dust on top of slabs and we've just learnt that slabs uh, if we see that's blocked off but if we have a slab here redstone dust can actually travel through so that is very interesting so since you can place redstone dust on top of the slab and it's allowing power to get sent through people have come up up with something like this. Now we flip this lever and the door at the top actually opens. So that's pretty cool. So what's actually happening is it's the signal is being carried up but and since this, this is a slab the redstone dust can be carried upwards and it can since it's a, another block it actually allows it to come upwards but we can't actually see the texture at the side. So this is a strange little bug or even could be an actual feature 
so I'm not 100% sure if this is going to be in the game much longer, but we'll see. So you can see from this lever, it's powering the redstone dust, which is powering the door, but it won't go back down, which is, you know, one of the downsides of this. I guess you could always use one of these simple redstone staircases like this, you know, but uses a lot more space and a lot more redstone, but it gets the job done. Same thing can happen with upside down stairs, as we saw before, because you can place them on upside down stairs. And the same thing also works with glowstone. Pretty cool. Now, unfortunately, it only works with these blocks. And as you can see right here, this does absolutely nothing. Alright. Okay, so I'm surprised I didn't actually tell you guys this, the very first thing about redstone, but this is a very important thing in redstone. Redstone travels 15 blocks, so we've got our input here, then our first redstone dust, and we go all the way along, and we are at number 15, and it basically cuts off right over there, and at the 16th redstone dust, redstone dust, it's dead. You can see this is a little sparkly, and you can kind of see the, it's a lot more bright red here, and then it slowly dies down to a more dark red color here. So what we can do is we can bring a redstone lamp over here and it flashes there. Or what we can do is with repeaters, we can just place a repeater. Because this one's flashing so that we can pull out the power from that redstone dust and extend it. Now this here will allow it to go on for 15 more blocks. All right, So that will just go on for 15 more blocks. Uh, a way to even save all this is by... So we've got 15 and then let's get rid of all that. We can actually pull the power out, remember, from our power lesson, we can pull power out of the blocks, and we can push it into a, another block with our redstone lamp. So that saves you two pieces of redstone dust, you know, which is pretty awesome. Okay, so moving on from there, now we can use repeaters for multiple things from just extending the signal set signal length of 15. Some Actually, some circuits actually use the signal strength for their actual circuits. And comparators play a big part in this, which we will go into at a later stage. So, as you can see here, we have a repeater here. Now, if we flip this lever, the, both doors activate. You can see it right there. Can we see it? You can see it from this ag angle that both doors activate. Because what we learned from pow our power episode is that it will pull the power out of a weak direct power and we'll create a direct power here and we'll send the signal along through there all right now but if we power it this way only one of the doors opens all right this is very interesting this is because the repeaters only go one way remember okay so that's just important now some cool things with repeaters is you can do different bridging meth methods and stuff of transferring power so this lever activates this door and this one activates that door. Now, none of these interfere with each other. This one opens that one. It can close, open, close. This one opens and closes. And this signal does not interfere with each other. Because if we remember before, the repeater actually can only take out power from here and send it on through here. Uh, it doesn't power the block below it, so what we can do is we can use the, another repeater to power the block underneath it to send a signal through. So that's kind of like repeater bridging. Now what you could do is have something like this, where you could have just a little bridge over, but, you know, it's not all that great. It takes up a lot more room than a simple thing like this. Alright, now redstone torches, moving on to them. Now redstone torches always give out a direct power, so a signal strength of 15. So uh, we can see right there, they'll extend out for 15 more blocks, which is pretty awesome. Now, even if we have a lever next to it, if we remembered before, our lever will power the block like this. Alright, can I quickly do this? Cool. Uh, remember the direct power there and the indirect power at the side. Now, this lever is right next to it, so it should probably uh, indirectly power it. So this should turn off, but unfortunately that is not the case. What we have to do is apply direct power, or indirect power, no, not indirect power, uh, weak direct power, or di direct power, into the 
block underneath the redstone torch. So just apply power to this block that's holding the redstone torch and everything will be fine. So we flip this lever, this actually turns off. So it actually pretty much inverts the signal. So this is on, but this is off. This is off, but this is on. Alright? Now the same thing works with the redstone dust, as you can see right here. Cool. Now, a thing I just realized I forgot to mention is a cool way of transferring repeater power downwards. So, if we flip this lever here, the door opens. So that's pretty cool. So what's happening here is if we remember our power episode, this is directly powered, indirectly powered, powers this block, which the repeater pulls, and directly powers that, will activate that redstone dust, and it continues downwards, like so. So that's a cool way of transferring things. So it's actually one wide, you can see it right there, that's pretty cool. So yeah, pretty awesome. Now, if we move on to the uh, redstone torches on the side. So to power these, you just need to power the block, right? Alright, so we remember how that works, the redstone torch is actually directly powering this block, which will indirectly power this redstone dust, so we can continue signals on like that. And as you can see, we can even put in a redstone dust facing right into it like so. Cool. Alright, we just need to make sure to power the block. Now you can even power the block like so, like this, with redstone dust on top, remember? Because the redstone dust dust will actually uh, weak, weakly directly power the block and it's on. So we can actually place a redstone dust there. You know, it doesn't really matter because it, it's already powering it and that will just power it again. So it doesn't do, make much of a difference. So yeah. Uh, but if you do do that, now having a redstone dust on top of a block with a redstone torch on the side is very tricky. Now I would suggest trying to avoid this as much as possible. Uh, because if you put a block on top of this redstone torch, whoa, look at that, it's crazy lights, and then it turns off. Even though this is not being powered, this is turned off. Now if we update that redstone torch, just by placing a block next to it, or any blo other block update, it will actually start firing again, then turn off. This is what we call a clock, this one is a one clock to be precise, and we will go over them soon, but yeah, you don't want these... In your, in your circuits flashing on and off so make sure to just we make sure to not have a block on top of it or just remove the redstone dust there so you can put a block there all right now now that we've looked at redstone torches this is a cool method of vertical uh, wiring so this is called a torch tower this is what most people refer to it as it's just a one by one tower of redstone torches and blocks all right so we just flip this lever right here, and at the top we can see the door opens. We can did you hear it that time? And there we are. It has a little bit of delay, and we'll get into delay and things like that later. So remember how our lever directly powers this block, which will activate the redstone torch. This redstone torch is actually powering this block, which is keeping this off. And this one's off, therefore this is on, this is on, therefore this is off, and so on. So as soon as this turns off, this one's going to turn on, off, on, off, on, off, on, and then the door will open. So that's a way of, you know, sending signal upwards. You can kind of see the little flashes there, like a little ch chain, you know, circuit thing. You can even do it like... This this does use more redstone torches. It's bigger and all that. I don't know why you want to, will want to use it like this, but sometimes in some situations, I guess you might. So you can flip the sleeper, and the door opens, and do it again. Closes. So we can see right here. You can kind of see the on 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 on, and it will be the opposite on this side. So this will be off on 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 on, and flip it again, and it'll turn. Off, 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 off. So yeah, pretty cool. Now over here is another method that's even larger and probably more expensive. The first method is the best. I'm just trying some more methods in case you really want some more. So as we know, the redstone, well, the block underneath the redstone torch is going to get powered. This will turn off. Therefore, the redstone dust will turn off, allowing this to turn on, off, and so on. So we flip the lever. There we are. Alright, just some random other methods. Now, transferring power downwards is more difficult. We can see we've got our one by one torch tower, that's very simple. Now, 
to send something downwards, we have to make like a little staircase like this to get it down. Well, there are some other methods. Now here we've got one method. Uh, we flip this lever and the door at the bottom opens and closes. Now we can see right here, redstone dust powers the block with the redstone torch at the side, which is going to turn off. And then therefore this redstone dust will turn off. And then this will turn on, there, off, on, off, on. Cool, something like that. Now remember, uh, the red this is working by the fact that we have, uh, remember this, this is the power source for the redstone torch, directly powers the block above it, and indirectly powers everything around that directly powered block, and even powers the thing underneath. So we can place a redstone dust piece right there, and that's going to actually power the block with a another thing there. And that means we have our next lot, like so. So yeah, you can continue that uh, downwards more and more. Cool. So just, you know, make sure you understand how that works. Here's another method as well. And we flip this lever and turns on. So basically what it's doing is it's, we're using the side instead. Alright, we're using this side and basically we do that and then we have the redstone torch here which powers the side uh, like so and down you see it like that continues that little pattern downwards so it just powers the block, redstone torch, powers the dust, powers the block, powers the redstone torch and so on so off on off on all the way down and we flip the lever and it just all inverts so yeah that's pretty awesome now I think I'm going to end this episode here for today. That's all I have to show you for basic circuitry. So hopefully these little basic circuits can help you uh, wire up your door or your lamp or what your whatever you want. All from your lever. Maybe your door is all the way up in the sky and you need to activate it from all the way up here. Or you want to activate something from down below. You can, you know, torch, torch tower up or torch tower down. Yeah. Something like that. Oh, I even remember the redstone dust things over there. Alright, so, make sure to practice a little bit with that, so you guys get the little hang of how the redstone torches, repeaters, and dust works a little bit more. Now, next time we'll actually look into a bit of delay, because if you actually realized, if we uh, do this, we put a door right next to it. On. On. So let's... Did you hear that? There's a little bit of delay. See, it took some time. Now we'll look into that next episode and how that actually works, because that makes no sense whatsoever. It doesn't make any sense. Bridstone carries it up and this is turns on and ah, oh, it doesn't make any sense. But we'll go over that next time. So that's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed and stay tuned for next episode.